For people looking to host educational content online, Udemy and Coursera are the two biggest options with the most people on their platform. They have memberships on all sorts of different subjects and many, many different instructors. So despite their popularity, they're not always the best option. For starters, the fact that each platform is so big and popular that you face heavy competition as a content and course creator. Also, you're trusting your content, your courses to a third party, which means you don't get full control on how you market it or how they display your actual courses. If you're looking to kickstart your own marketplace to sell your own courses, we'll show you how to get set up with WordPress and LearnDash in this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and give us a like if you want more of this content too. Hello everyone, Evan here with Woo Ninjas, your team of LearnDash and WooCommerce experts. Okay, let's jump in and talk about the drawbacks of Udemy. So Udemy is crowded with thousands of different course creators and sellers, and sometimes there's a lot of different courses in the same category. So there's a lot of competition when selling in Udemy. Let's jump in and I'll show you Udemy right now. So this is Udemy. It has thousands of courses from thousands of different people meaning your course will face strict competition. Also, you're facing other instructors who are selling courses in the same category as yours, not to mention the amount of fees that Udemy actually takes from each one of your sales. And this is high, 63% of each one of your sales goes straight to Udemy's pocket. So you're severely limited with how much you can actually make on these platforms, not to mention when people are potentially searching for your platform, they're getting marketed everyone else's course. Too. When you sell courses through your own platform, you get to keep everything that you make. There are costs associated with running your own platform. There's hosting fees, there's marketing, but at the end of the day, you get to keep all the money that comes in. You're not giving away 63%. And think of this, if you bring on other instructors and courses onto your site, you can charge them a fee and make money when these other instructors are selling their courses just like Udemy. This will help you keep making passive income. Also, Udemy caps its course prices at $1.99, meaning if you think your course is worth more than that, you're out of luck. So as I showed you earlier, most of the courses are below that $200 limit However, if you wanna compete with the other people selling courses, you're gonna to have to drop your course price. And as you can see, a lot of the courses are selling about 14 to $19. Also, Udemy does not give you much access to the data about the people who bought your courses. That's their data, not yours. So one of the best upsides about creating your own platform rather than using Udemy, you have full control of what you create manage, market, and sell, and you have access to the data and customer insights. So when you have your own platform, you don't have to stick to Udemy's policies of how to create courses. You can create them just the way you like, and there's no one who's gonna shut you down or take off your course or not show it. And it ultimately gives you the guidelines of setting what your instructors can sell and what you want them to do. All right, so let's jump right into this tutorial to show you how to set up your own course platform like Udemy. So this is the WordPress backend, but before you get to this point, you're gonna have to get a domain name and then you're also gonna have to get hosting and you're gonna set up WordPress. There's many tutorials out there for this. It's a rather simple process, but let's just fast forward to the point that we get LearnDash. So LearnDash is the platform that we use to actually make the courses and LearnDash is right here. How it works is you buy it and what happens is you download the LearnDash plugin, which you then pay for the license key for. I think it's about $200 per year, you download that zip file and then you go to plugins and then you add a new one and you just upload that zip file and then you install, add the license key that you purchased and then you now have LearnDash which will enable you to have this button right here. Okay, so here we are in the dashboard of WordPress. We have LearnDash LMS selected and as you can see, this is the overview of LearnDash but let's go over to courses and create a course. So we click on courses and from there, we're gonna click on the top right, add new, very simple. In this one, we're gonna entitle it a masterclass running Facebook ads. So we're gonna go ahead and save that as a draft. You can publish whatever you're more comfortable with. From this top header, we would click on builder and from this, we can then add the different lessons underneath. So for this case, we're gonna add a lesson. We just keep adding lessons. And then after we add the structure, we can then add the content to each lesson. All right, and we'll do another one. So now we're gonna save it as a draft and then we're gonna to go to edit so we can edit the course. So this is where you can add YouTube links so they show up like an actual module. This is where you can take your YouTube content that you've created or videos you're hosting on YouTube and actually add them into each individual course lesson. And I'll show you how 
to do that right now. So all you have to do is click on this plus box when you're editing, go over and type in YouTube. This will show up as a block and then you just copy and paste your URL or any URL you're using for one of your lessons. And then it shows up and it looks great. From here you can add text, you can add documents, whatever else you want to do. All right, so after you've added some content to your different lessons, what you do is you just go back to your courses and from this menu you would actually select the course that you're working on, go down to edit. From this menu, you're able to go to settings and this is where you get to check how you make money. Is it gonna be open? Meaning anyone can access this without logging in. Is it gonna be free? Meaning they do need a login and you're gonna be able to collect their information. Is it a buy now? Meaning they buy it one time. Is it a reoccurring monthly payment to get access for this course? Or is it just closed, no one can access it? So these are the different options that you get full control of when you're making your online courses on LearnDash with WordPress. Okay, also other than access, there's many more options in this course setting menu. So we just scroll on down and you can choose course prerequisites, meaning they have to complete a previous course or lesson before they start this one. Do they get points? You can gamify it. Is there an expiration date for how long they can actually be on the course after they first log in? Do you have extra course materials, PDF files, videos they have to watch? This is where you can add challenges or exams and then also this is a very interesting part do you want them to do the course linearly meaning from a lesson one two three four five or do you want them to be able to jump around which would be free form right here so you get all this control inside of using LearnDash with WordPress to create your online courses and create something very similar to Udemy also you can add quizzes to your Learn Dash courses and lessons. And you do that simply by going over to the quizzes tab on the left sidebar, clicking on that. And as it loads, you're able to choose a specific quiz or add a new one right here. And then underneath, after you click add new and it loads, you're able to choose the different questions that you want um, and choose multiple choice or fill in the blank, whatever works for you. So that's how you add a quiz. However, if you're comfortable with making everyone who's creating course an admin, there's no problem. You can have admins have access to making courses, but if you want people from outside of your website to start having the ability to create courses on your website, you're gonna need to add this little fix. You're gonna need to add a plugin like Instructors Roll add-on, and there's quite a few different plugins out there. This is Learn Dash Instructors tab, a great plugin to have. There's also plugins from various companies like Course uh, Creation Dashboard for non-admin instructors, and there's other such plugins that help solve this issue of having multiple different instructors given the access to also build courses on your dashboard. You can always get our Woo Ninjas experts to help you on creating exactly what you want. If this ever gets a little bit too complicated. Okay, so I'm just gonna jump in and share a little bit about what we do over here at Woo Ninjas to help you. So we work with helping people set up LearnDash, Buddy Boss, WooCommerce, everything that helps your WordPress site function better. If you just click on Learn Dash, it shows all the different options of the things that we do offer. We didn't just show up the other day. We've been here over six years. We have got really good reviews. We even offer customization services, meaning if you want a little tweak or you want something a little different on your site that's just not showing up natively, we can do that. Uh, we also offer add-ons, plugins that we've custom made. Um, not to mention, we've also offer a quick launch service, which allows you to pretty much go from not having a course to having a full course all set up by us and you get to consult with our consultants. And after your course is set up, we can provide the maintenance to keep it updated, running quick, and everything you need to make sure your site is just firing. So this is a little bit about us. If you're interested, check the link in the description. Finally, we recommend also integrating your LearnDash site with WooCommerce. And this allows you to make really crisp landing pages for your courses, and then also very nice course catalogs, along with allowing you to have payment gateways and offer discounts and all sorts of different things that e-commerce allows people to access. And this right here is WooCommerce, it makes them very crisp and attractive sites and probably a lot of the sites that you do shopping on are using WooCommerce WordPress plugin. So as you can see creating your own course marketplace using LearnDash and a few tweaks can be done with very little effort and please make sure to subscribe like and ask any questions you may have about this in the comment section and if you're curious about learning more about Woo Ninjas check for the link in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video.